Hi, my name is Matthew Ryan, and welcome to the Week in Neurodiversity. Irish Snapchat star James Cavanaugh recently interviewed his autistic nephew and uploaded the video to Facebook. It has since been shared thousands of times. It's Autism Awareness Month, and my V-Gorge nephew, Sean, has autism, so we're going to have a chat to him. So welcome to the show, Sean. Thank you. Sean, question one. What type of autism do you have? Um, upon diagnosis, I had atypical autism. Researchers at George Washington University just created an incredible new robot designed to help autistic children in social situations. The goal of this study is to make them more active in the society. So we know they sometimes avoid eye contact, sometimes they don't like to do human-human interaction. We are trying to use this system to be more engaged so they can learn how to actively make eye contact with people, make social activities, and make emotional engagement. After a surrogate mother's baby was prematurely diagnosed with Down syndrome, she was inspired to keep the child, and now the toddler is reaching milestones. She moved to Michigan, where she could have legal rights, and also found a family who adopted the baby that could care for a special needs child. She didn't have the money and resources, but was determined to find her a loving home. Now three years old, baby Stormy is doing well, and Kelly gets to visit twice a year. She also wrote a book and shares her experience in a blog, noting that she feels vindicated. From entrepreneurs to aeroplane engineers, these twins have found success despite their dyslexia and ADHD diagnoses. Together, They've actually built a plane that broke the intercontinental world speed record. The second annual Micah's Voice Back in the Day Benefit Concert was a smashing success for autism awareness, featuring celebrities like Nick Lachey, Bruno Mars, and many others. Like Sean and Sharonda, I love him to death. Um, you know, I've known Sean for a long time. We did sing off together, uh, we toured together, um, so I would support anything that they do. In sports, the 10th annual Autism Awareness Baseball Challenge was just held to benefit the Teamwork Unlimited Foundation. And the first pitch was thrown by Christopher Kirk, a seven-year-old with special needs. Players and coaches of the 26 participating teams had more than scoring runs on their minds. Christopher Kirk, a seven-year-old with special needs from Sayreville, who threw out the ceremonial first pitch before St. Joseph's game against Steinert in a battle of perennial state powers, captured the spirit of the day. Who do you follow? Because Shalom Alechem's mental health blogs are definitely some to see. Check out her link at the end of this video. That's it for the week in neurodiversity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments and subscribe. And remember, you keep advocating, we'll keep bringing the news.